Okay, I'm inside Big Cave. I got four flashlights with me, but basically three of them are practically dead now. So this is the only decent flashlight I have left. Uh, they're good enough for me to find my way in and out, but they're they're dim now, so they're not really good enough for video. Kind of disappointing. But I've only been here like two hours. Yeah. What I used to do when I had a drone, I had the batteries numbered. So I basically go in order, start with battery one, two, three, but use them all until they're dead. But the thing is with flashlights, they're not as advanced as a drone. Like the drone, you know, it tells you when you're almost out of battery life, etc. Flashlight, it just sort of gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, glitches out without warning. So it's a lot harder to keep track of. Okay, this flashlight's good. This flashlight's almost good. This flashlight's really bad. It's very annoying. What they just need is a better uh, voltage regulator. Basically a power regulator. They need to take the, you know, the power from the batteries, make it constant voltage or constant current, make it constant power, as long as the batteries are adequate. But that, that's a little extra electronics. Probably cost them an extra dollar to make. I'd happily pay for it, but I really don't know where to find something like that. Oops. I'm climbing up a hill now. Breakdown pile. Rock pile. Kind of fun, but my horizon is about 10 feet. It's like watching my feet here. Huh. Here's a little bit of dripstone on this one rock. Kind of pretty. See if there's a way up here to the left, or this is a dead end. Yeah, it's like it's gonna be a little bit of work. Oh well, till you know. I sometimes think though, if I were to come up with an ingenious design to make a reliable flashlight, I don't think too many people would buy it. They wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So I'd probably just, you know, build a few prototypes for myself and just keep it for myself. But I'm too lazy right now. Huh. I thought I saw something shiny under there. It's too warm for ice. Yeah, I would say this cave is maybe 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Man, yeah, the ceiling ahead of me is only like 20 feet tall. Right where I am, I swear it's like 80 feet tall. Super high ceiling. Very pretty. I wish, the, wish I could point the camera up and show you. In case you didn't notice, I'm zigzagging. The cave's a little bit difficult here. Look at this. Got a little bit of sort of flowstone on the wall here. Not much. Got a little nook over there. Not much. Let's see if I can go down here. There's some loose rock. I have to be careful. There we go. Just a little bit pretty here. Not super good. I've definitely seen better caves. Not necessarily around here though. I don't know why, but the caves around here don't seem to have much dripstone. Like,
interesting cave or interesting rock. I'm near a cliff, so I need to be careful. I don't want to check out this hole in the wall. Interesting. I already checked out this one on the way in. Notice how the color turns brown up higher or inside this crack. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, let's see, make sure I can find my way down here. Oh wow, it's not very impressive, but I'll 